I know that there's going to be a few people in here and they're going to have separate cameras. So I'm going to do a bit of a ridiculous example, not to show you how to do this perfectly when you match things up, but how you should just maybe do it so you get it right. That is a Sony a7S III. The tech is different, the color space is different, etc. This guy over here, this is a Canon. It's just a camcorder. Again, the color is different, the space is different, and how it works is different. When I'm switching from one camera to another camera, it's going to be odd. It's going to be different, especially if I don't have the white balance set over here on this camera correctly, making everything happen. Now, obviously, I should do all the right things. If I'm sitting at this camera, make sure I set my white balance, custom white balance, or at least hold up my card like this. And then when I switch to the other camera before I start shooting, depending on where the light is, I'd say probably like that as it's hitting my face, hold this up. Now, at least I have a reference. At least I know what the colors are like and I can go and try and match these cameras. My best advice is if you want to do multi-camera shoots, then get the same product. That's a Sony a7S III. If I was going to do multiple shoots, I would get another Sony a7S III or maybe a little Sony ZV-1 and try and match the same color space or Canons or something like that. You don't always have that option. I understand that. The other thing I want to caution you on before I go in and show you this color matching is it doesn't matter a lot if you're doing like some sort of B-roll shot where you're flipping over here into some B-roll shot, which is a totally different shot angle and everything else, trying to color match them and get them all perfect. It's just ridiculous for most watching this. If you're trying to get a shot here where you're talking and then they do the thing where you're talking here and blah, 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 blah. I'm not a big fan of that anyway, because I think it's kind of weird. You do this, hello, this is Kevin, yada, da. Today we're going to cover this thing and then we're going to cover this other thing and we're going to do this. And it just, it's kind of weird. I think some people think it's cool. I think it's stupid personally. It does have its uses. If you're doing an interview shot where the person is talking to someone off the camera and explaining something to them, it's cool to have another camera where possibly there's another B-roll hitting their hands or something. Again, don't go crazy with all this stuff. Let's bring this footage into the editor and I'll show you a few tips and tricks on what I do if I need to match shots. I don't go crazy with it. Okay, I've loaded my footage in here. This is the first shot, it's all lit correctly. And there's a second shot, which is not lit correctly, etc. I might right away just probably up the exposure a little bit. That's a little bit better. You can tell the colors don't match. First thing we want to make sure is if we have the correct white balance. Now we know we do on this one. We click our little white here, barely moves these little guys over here. Let's check over here what's happening. If we come over here and click our little white dude over here, let's see what happens. That's actually not that bad off either. That's about 2.5 temperature and tint. These are nearly white balanced exactly the same. So let's just undo that one and then we're going to undo this one. They're both at zero. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure the colors are the same from this one to this one. Now in Premiere Pro, I can say I want to match this shot and the way this is done to another shot. If I click on this, I can say I want to match this to another shot. There's this cool little thing under here. It's under color wheels and match. If you go down to here and you say comparison view, watch what happens over here. It shows this shot on the right. That's the one I want to apply my color correction to. Now over here, up oh, there it is. Next cut, previous cut you can find this cut. So I want Premiere Pro to try, this doesn't always work, to try and match this shot, colors, brightness, and exposure, and everything else to this shot. Base detection is on, so it tries to match those. Let's apply a match and see what we get here. That's not bad. Before, after, before, after. Now realize I have a ton of blue in here, and this is a terrible example, but when you cut from, let's go blah, 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 Sure, that'd be okay. Maybe I might, for this shot, I might like blow this thing up on the side shot like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can see it's changed all the shadows, highlights, and everything else. So let's just reset this whole thing. That's the before, that's the after. 
That's the before, that's the after. Now we can also play around with just the basic color stuff. For instance, I can come over here. I see that this one's quite blue. This one's quite yellow. And I'll show you a trick what you can do on these shots. Obviously, I want to move this one to a little more in the blue range. Maybe move that a little right about there. A little more tint, I think, down here. I'm probably going to give it a little more saturation to match. And I'm definitely going to add some more exposure to this. Maybe like that. I would be okay with this. All right, let's turn off the comparison view. I'm going to go back from comparison view to composite video. Now here's the cut. Okay, I'll show you a few tips and tricks. And what I have a reference, at least I know what the colors are like. It's not bad. I probably wouldn't use this. I would set the white balance correctly. I'd get a little better focus here. I would light myself better if I was doing this type of thing. But again, Nobody's going to care if I'm sitting here shooting myself from the front and I switch to this view or maybe I come along and I come over here and then I switch to this view over here that's like that camera. Nobody's really going to care usually for these YouTube videos unless you're really trying to match something. And again, doing this type of shot like I'm doing switching to that camera and this weird angle without the proper lighting is not the way to go. But basically that's all you do. So again, over here, don't get super crazy about trying to match these shots and matching the color and everything else. You're usually going to be matching a frontal shot where you're talking to maybe some B-roll or something like that. Who cares? Look at that difference. There's the video that was adjusted. So you can do it by hand. You can do it using this. You can do it using the wheels. Um, there's similar things in DaVinci Resolve that you can use, but that's basically color matching shots. We can also go in, as usual, and play little masky color guy and see what we got here where we, let's blow this thing up, H. And you'll notice this camera, I purposely used a really crappy lens on this camcorder. It's not sharp at all. I'd probably sharpen this up. In fact, why don't we do that right now? Let's add in some sharpness. Schwink. That's probably overcooked. Yeah, that looks a lot better before, after. It's closer and that's all we care about. So now we're going to come over here and we're gonna check this out. Let's play with the colors. We'll go over here to the opacity for me. Let's blow this thing up, boop, boop, boop. Let's move this thing over this way. Let's just mask out these dudes. We'll just use the pen tool, yank this thing up. It's always a lot easier for me to use the pen tool. Bink, 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 bink. Boink. I'm going to turn off the feather, shwink, so I'm just getting colors, and let's go look at the scope. Here we are on the scope, I can see that things are a little wild over here, but really if you look, the white dot, remember the white in the middle, uh, the green's right about right, the yellow's maybe a little bit, blue's there, magenta's there, and this has to do with the camera. So again, if you really want to get crazy about it, you can play with this. Maybe I move these back a little bit. Maybe I play with this a little bit. Maybe move the saturation just up a little bit. Let's remove that and see what we got. Bink, from there to there. Again, I'm not trying to show you this perfect color matching balancing blah, but I can tell you for sure the difference between that, which was crazy bad, and that is going to be a lot more acceptable. Oh yeah, and let me give you one more tip. It is totally laudable and acceptable if you're having a really hard time with a real live camera switch over here, like on a face or something, and you just can't get the cameras to match, it's totally cool and it's actually a bit artistic to where you go to that other camera and you say to heck with it. I'm just going to set that camera and I'm going to apply a black and white right over the top of the other camera because I don't want to mess with this anymore. And then when you switch back to the main camera, you just do it all in black and white. Here, let me show you. You know I love coffee. It's just, here, let me show you. That's some yummy goodness. Like that. Just change it to black and white or throw a black and white effect or whatever over the thing. And then when you're switching, you don't have to worry about it. Cool, huh? So on this, I just wanted to show you just a little example of doing color correction on some really crappy, bad non-matching, non-white balancing set camera. And I wanted to show you what you can do using these different controls by yourself or using some color matching technique. And I want to stress like I have throughout this course, make sure you set white balance in each of the cameras you're using 
I don't care what model they are for each camera, so at least you don't have to mess around with all that stuff. That one I didn't on purpose. And secondly, when you bring it in, just get them to match somewhat. Don't go crazy, okay?